So far I had over three chargers in the past two years that basically failed and it is a simple problem that uh, Milwaukee has and I'm not going to get too technical about it. It's their cable or basically it's the tension release of the cable and that's where most of the time the power cable basically breaks inside this tension release and doesn't bring any power uh, to the board, to the charging board anymore. And it's a simple fix. So let's talk about this here real quick. So let's talk about first of the tools you're going to need. You just need to simple a cutting plier. You need two different sets of torques, uh, a Torx 15 and a Torx 20. Or a hand screwdriver with Torx and you need either a soldering station or a soldering iron. So let's get started. So you re first remove first all the screws. And once you remove the screws with the bigger Torx, the Torx 20, then you can open simply the charger up. Make sure that in every work you perform now, more or less uh, the station is unplugged. So you don't get electrocuted. Once you open it, you simply can disconnect the upper part from the lower part by unplugging these two white cables here. Now, normally, this tension release sits right in here. I already removed it to see if this was really the problem. So I already cut this part out, but it sits right here in here. Now to get to the cable, you have to unscrew the board. And you see now the smaller Torx here, here, two here, two here, one up here and the other one is back here. Once you unscrew those, then you can take the board out. So once the board is out, we're gonna go here, right here. And I already soldered the wires out. And uh, what I'm gonna do next is just run a continuity test on the cable directly with a multimeter or ohm, or ohm meter and you test from the plug-in to the end of the tip on each side which is the plug-in here so we're going to test from here to the other side and make sure that there's continuity so once you test the cable out you take a little bit of the insulation up and uh, bring it to the back and just solder it right there on these two points so once this is done make sure you have a good soldering connection here on the back side and basically now your board is ready to go back in into the housing since we cut up the tension release from the cable uh, what I normally do, I just use some liquid glue uh, and use that as a tension release in here and just fill this port up a little bit with it. But uh, normally you shouldn't have to do much. You also could use zip ties or something like that just to secure it in place. So once that is all done, don't forget to connect the top part again. And uh, now you just can close the top part on it run a short test if everything is working or just start putting the screws and everything back together because it will work okay everything is back together final test and yes we are working again <laughs>